Welcome back everyone, my name is Joel Feld and today's video is all about putting text Yep, text all over your photos. Here we go. I actually had a question asked on YouTube by Don. So shout out to Don G. He said, hi Joel, can you add text to a photograph in Apple Photos? Thanks. And I said, Don, yes. Yes, you can. And not only in Apple Photos, I'm gonna show you a handful of different ways to add text and shapes and colors and all sorts of stuff natively directly inside of every single photo that you have. With that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Now, I'm gonna show you really in three main places. One on the computer within Apple Photos, second on the computer within Preview, and then third on iPhones or iPads within the photo app itself, or even in Notes. I mean, there's, there's 10 different places to do it, and actually it's really nice because they're all very, very similar. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up Photos on my Mac, and I have some pictures here. I will just, let's use the kids for an example. We'll double click on here. And let's just say I wanted to put something across the top. I don't know, something inspirational, who knows. In the top right, I can choose edit once I've selected the photo. And obviously you have all of your editing tools which allow you to brightness, all of that stuff. So maybe we'll brighten it up here because I don't even think I did anything to this picture. So we'll just do some slight slight adjustments. But after you've made your picture visually look the way that you want it to, if you ever want to add text to it, if you come up to the three little dots here, this gives you options to have access to different extensions. And extensions are just little utilities and tools that integrate into Apple Photos, and there are a ton of them. These are some of my favorites, but if you don't have anything here, you'll have the App Store to go get stuff, and you will have markup. So markup is the built-in tool that allows you to essentially mark up your photo. So if we click on markup, that brings us into markup mode. Let's go ahead and make the screen a little bit bigger. We'll hide the dock down there so we have a little bit more room. When we're in markup mode, we have all of these buttons in the top left-hand side. We have a, like a sketch option, we have shapes options, we have text, we have highlight options, we have the thickness of your shapes for the borders, the colors, text, all sorts of different choices here that we have. So let's just start by adding some quick text to it. We're gonna use the third button here. When that happens, it brings a little text box here. And if I double click, I can now type in, we'll just do best friends, best friends. Now by default, it's whatever color it was last left at. So I'm gonna select the text here and I'm gonna go up to the text option and I can change the fonts if I want to. And I, I wish it would give you a preview in this window, but it doesn't. And I can change the color, we'll do black. We can change the font size. And I can make it bold, italicized, anything like that. I don't mind this. There we go. And if I click off of it, notice how it gets a little hand and I can drag this around wherever I want. So after I add the text, if I click off of it, it's going to be deselected. I can go up and add more text if I wanted to, add another text box and it, notice how it keeps the same exact, same exact font, size and color. But I'm gonna press delete on the keyboard because I don't want that. But if I select the text, some of the other options up here are I can put a background color behind it. So maybe I want uh, a yellow there. If I wanted a border around it, I could choose something like that. And I can grab these little handlebars to make this larger and move it around. I can change the, the size of the border. I could put a little different border here. So you have, again, very, very basic options. We're not talking Photoshop, but very simple stuff. If you wanna throw simple text on there, you can totally do it. Here's something that's nice. Maybe I want the yellow to be a little bit more transparent. If I go down to show colors, I can bring up the color wheel and down here I can drop the opacity down. So then that color kind of blends through, that yellow blends through and we can kind of see the clouds back there. So we got best friends here. So yeah, that's how to add just standard text. So there's some other options up here. Let's take a look at those. From the shape tool, we can add a line. Notice it brings a line here and added two of them. You can. You have a little control to customize 
Kind of looks like the Nike swish, uh, swoosh symbol. I'm gonna, you could say just do it. There we go, just like that. Because I have this shape here that's just a line, I can always go and change how that line looks. I can change the outline of it. I can add arrows, all sorts of stuff. I can change the color of it, red, so you name it. When that object is selected, you have the ability to manipulate it. We can add some other shapes here. We can add talking bubbles. So maybe we could sit here. Uh, I don't really like the dotted line, so we're gonna get rid of that. And let's make that a thinner kind of border around. And notice the little green dots versus the uh, blue. So the blue allow you to kind of reshape it uh, in size. The green allow you to manipulate kind of where the bubble is at. So we could even make our own little comic here. Maybe uh, Hudson is saying something. We could add some text in here. I'm hungry. We will make that smaller. Actually, let's, it would be more so of I'm bored. And then Here's a nice little trick. If I hold down option on the keyboard, I can actually drag this and bring this over here to make a copy of it. And we're gonna do another one. Let's delete that arrow. I can do the same thing with text. I'm gonna copy by holding option on the keyboard. We're gonna say me to, actually we'll leave room for his over there. And again, same thing with the best friends. We can come up here go to show colors and we can drop the opacity of that white so it kind of pops through a little bit. There we go, there's the white. We can bring that through, drop the opacity a little bit. I'm having too much fun, can you tell? Okay, I'm not gonna continue, but you get the idea. Now we're gonna take it, uh, so again, you have shapes. We can add stars, you know, whatever you want. You can change the, how many points there are, how the star looks, so on and so forth. So yes, yes, Don, you can add text to your photos. Last option here is a sketch, and this is really cool actually. It's kind of like a smart tool. When you start to draw, you have the ability to either do your shape or it'll actually convert it to a nice shape. So for example, if I do a circle here, look at that. And notice over here on the left-hand side, I either have my circle or the computer circle. So with the sketch option, it actually gives you the ability to do shapes just like that. So notice in the top left here, I can switch between which shapes I wanna choose. And if I don't want any of these options, I can always select it with the hand, press delete on the keyboard, and it's gonna be deleted. And I added that accidentally. So we have our sketch tool, we have our shapes tool. So under the shapes, uh, not only do you have the shapes that you could use, but you have these two options here. One is kind of like a, like a focusing one where you wanna just say focus only on these two people over here and it kind of dims out the rest of it. That way you're kind of pulling focus to that area. I don't use that too often, but the other one is a magnifying glass where you can actually magnify whatever you're put on the circle. If we take the green one, we can magnify the percentage on the inside, but overall with the blue, adjust the size and the green adjust the magnification. So we can put this anywhere we want. On the text up here, there, their heads. We can make Hudson's head really big. Actually, that would be kind of funny. They all had little heads or big heads. And notice how it has the, the border around there. Again, we can come here, choose no border so it doesn't have that, but you get the idea. The last few tools up here are just the rotate. Obviously, like we have before, we have the cropping option that we can crop the photograph. And then on the right here, this actually, because I have my iPhone and iPad here, this is a handoff feature. This is really cool. So I have my iPad here. If I click on Learn with Joel iPad, what it's gonna do is it's going to shoot that picture boom right to my ipad how do you like that how awesome is that so here i can pick up exactly where i left off and it's got the same exact tools so down here in the bottom i have the ability uh, notice i'm still selected on the the circle around hudson's head so i can 
obviously change the color of that. But if I touch anywhere on the screen, I now have different tools across the bottom. So very, very similar to what we saw on the computer within Photos, but this is Photos directly on the iPad or your iPhone. It works the same exact way. Now on the, the bottom left here, we have these, with this black pen, we kind of have this highlighter, another blue pencil, an eraser, a selective tool, and a ruler for us. And then we have various color palettes. We can also touch the plus sign to add more shapes, add the magnifier, add a signature, add text, just like we did before. And then the three little dots also give us uh, different choices for auto minimize. So the tools, as soon as I'm done using it and I go to use that tool, it kind of hides it over in the corner or I can put it in the top right or I can move this tool all the way wherever I want so it's not in the way. If I touch this, it expands it. So we'll go back to the three little dots and turn off um, that option. And then the other choices are specifically for the Apple Pencil. And depending on what iPad you have, some uh, iPads support the Apple Pencil, some don't. I actually don't have the uh, Pencil with me at the moment, but it just gives you a nice stylus to write with. Now on the iPad, we'll kind of continue the theme. We have all of the pictures here, and with the Pencil, you're just drawing with your finger. And when I select any of the tools from below, if I touch once to select it and then touch it again, I have the ability to change the opacity and the thickness of that brush. So if I drag this all the way to the right, let's choose black for example. Now when I drag, it's really dark and it's really thick. If I drag the slider to a little bit to the left and do the same thing now, notice the color is lighter. I've dropped the opacity. Everything that I'm doing here, it's in real time happening on the computer. How cool is that? And if I go back, I can change the thickness of this on the, on the iPad for the brush and all of that. Those last two I don't want, so I can touch this little arrow on the left here and do edit, undo, edit, undo, edit, undo. And the same thing goes with all of these other brushes. I have the ability to touch it and choose the thickness of the brush. I can change the colors. I can go to the color wheel and even be more specific with all of these different ways to get different variety of colors for you, the opacity. I mean, I can even grab the little eyedropper and say, I want the color of Bennett's shirt. And now I have that color. So you have, you have so many different choices. So now I have that same exact color there. If I don't want any of these items, so these first three here are more tools to draw and write. The uh, one here is the eraser, so I can go through here. And notice it's not erasing the text or the shapes, it's erasing everything that I've written or drawn with the brush. And if I touch the eraser, I have two choices to either make it like an actual eraser or it's an object eraser. Meaning that if I have this box here and I have the circle and I do this, if I am selected on the pixel eraser, I'm just doing it pixel by pixel. I can do it a little bit at a time. But if I touch this and choose object eraser, it's now doing the whole entire object as long as it's all touching each other. And I can drag my finger on it as well. The next one is the selection tool. So the selection tool allows me to select something, but notice there's nothing here to select because I erased it all. So if I went like this and did that, I'm able to select that content and I could change the color or I can move this around and put it someplace else. So that's what the selection tool does. I'm gonna erase that, erase these lines here. And then the ruler allows me to use two fingers to pinch and rotate. Notice like this, pinch and rotate the ruler around, but it gives me a nice straight line to draw across. So if I have it at an angle there, now when I go and I put it right there, I can slowly draw along it draw along and make nice straight lines just like that so that's the purpose of the ruler i'm going to go ahead and erase that i'll touch the ruler again to get rid of it and last but not least my favorite remember on the computer we had the option to do those smart shapes same thing on your phone or your ipad here's how you do it when you draw a shape notice it's just a circle it's just a square but if you pause at the end, notice what happens. <laughs> cool, huh? So make a square, pause. There we go. Let's get rid of some of these. Let's do the eraser. Let's get rid of these guys. Even more shapes that you could do. You could do 
All right, let's try this. Um, a heart. Excellent. I'm going to attempt a star here. Um, there we go. So uh, the key to these uh, smart shapes on the mobile devices is you have to pause at the very end, and now these shapes are there. And what's cool with the selection tool, if I want to move these, if I just kind of drag my finger on there, it'll actually drag the whole thing and I can move that whole shape around. If I press the eraser, I can delete that shape as well and get rid of it. If I touch any of the shapes here, I can move them around. And then if I touch it again, I have options on the iPad to either cut, copy, delete, or duplicate. So I can actually duplicate this and throw another one. But if I touch it again, I'm gonna choose delete and choose delete and let's move the star back we will select the heart and we're going to move that back i have this little dot here it looks like let's select that and got rid of it so now if i touch done in the top right that brings me back to the computer and i can choose save changes in the top right and all of these changes are saved on that photograph now with that being said it's all non-destructive so this picture here, I can always revert back to the original. If I double click on it and I go back to edit, I can always choose revert to original. If I go back on the iPad, I can do the same thing. So that's doing it from Apple Photos, starting in photos on the computer and actually transferring it to my iPad, which is awesome. But let's just say I wanna start on my iPad itself. So let's go ahead and just do another picture here. Let's scroll down. All right, so here's, here's my wife and I and maybe I want to do you know, some type of quote on here. Let's go get a love quote, shall we? Let's do quote about love. No results. Well, that's silly. Oh, this is why I need to type it in the search. Oh, we'll just do love quotes. Love quotes. Oh, I must have been on F-stoppers. Good website very informational all right so so let's just find here's here's one so i'm gonna i'm gonna take this one from dr seuss we're just gonna select this text here we're gonna copy it we're gonna come back to our photo here we're gonna choose edit in the top right and when you're starting off in photos on your pictures the three little dots are going to be in the top right after you choose edit and then i can go to markup here and it's the same exact controls as we saw before. Now I wanna to touch a little plus sign to add text, and this is where I can move this text box around. I'm gonna double tap in there and paste the quote that I had. And I can stretch this little box out and we can move this wherever we want. If I double tap on that, that box, it gives me the option to select the text and I'm gonna hide the keyboard here. And when I have the box selected, notice all the, the pencils went away. So if I touch the little A here, this is where I can choose to change the font, which is very, very limited. And I can change the size of the font. And I can also center, justify it, left justify it, and put it wherever I'd like. So I'll leave it at center. We'll keep it with that noteworthy font. And now we'll move this a little bit around. And we'll put it, yeah, here in the bottom. Let's make this a little bit smaller. There we go. All right, we'll do it just like that. So now I have the text below and that's there. If I wanted to add shapes or add more text or, or draw, I can have the same exact tools. I can touch the plus sign. It could choose the shape here, move this around another one, or I could actually put that around the text so I can have kind of a frame around there. I don't have options as many options I did on the computer, but we could change that to black if we wanted to. Touch the plus sign again. If I wanted to add a signature, here's all my previous signatures, or I could add and remove a signature. I could touch the plus sign. There we go. And I can add that wherever I want. Not that I need my signature on there, but I could if I wanted to. So let's go ahead and delete that. You kind of get the idea. You have the ability to add text, add shapes, add all sorts of different things to this. So now if I touch done in the top right, that photograph is saved, touch done again, and now that picture has that text and it's there. If I go back into that picture and I choose edit, I can always revert back to the original 
and text is gone, all of the edit is gone, and there we go. That process was identical to on your iPhone as well, so same exact thing, but if we jump back to the computer quick, let's look at another picture here. Let's say we have this photograph here and we're just gonna drag it to the desktop because the other built-in app that you can edit and add text really quickly, just like this, is Preview. So if I double click on that photograph, it opens up in Preview and notice across the top, I have the same exact tools. If I click on Markup, I have all of these different tools and actually more so because I can go through a selection tool and I can actually select something like this, I can copy it and paste it and have it someplace else. So you have the ability, we're not, I mean, it's obviously nowhere near what Photoshop is, but it does give you some creative ideas to play around with. And as we go through the rest of the options here, we do have some slight adjustments for the controls for the color and the light and all of that. But just know that this is really it's you'd want to do all of this in Apple Photos or some other editor. We have some additional options to do tools and we have smart lassos. We can have, you know, a circle lasso to copy and paste. We can put that over there. So you kind of get the idea. Very, very similar tools. It's in preview and you can then save this photo, put it back into photos, email it, text it, whatever you want to do. That was a lot. Um, that That is adding text, shapes, and all sorts of other stuff to your photos. So thank you so much for watching. If you learned something, go ahead and hit that like button. If you liked what you saw and you wanna watch more, hit that subscribe button, tap that little bell, and we'll see you next time.